day welcome back to the channel um i don't know if i'm gonna see the local glow i don't know if i'm gonna see but yeah i'm in jamaica um it was a whole craziness yesterday in the airport you know i i flew with JetBlue to montego bay and uh, can you believe I landed about not even of the fan any sun you're at a fan um i landed around 12 minutes after 11 a.m and after we deplay and done everything them tell us a journal line trying to keep that social distancing six feet apart um I'm not here for pretty up. I'm not there for pretty up. Nothing. I'm going to let you guys know what you guys should be expecting. I'm not going to be like some people that put the quote on quote and make everything just look good. Like the advertisement them on the TV. Which I thought I was going to get. Anyways. You guys, I got my ear cut. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like it. Tell me. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, um, what had happened after we come off of the plane now and we join a line to keep the six feet social distancing, right? We formed the line and our temperatures were taken. When them take the temperature now, them write it on a paper, give us a little piece of white paper with our temperature on it. All right. But in the line, I'm going to say, Bops. After that, no, we're supposed to move. Hmm. After that, no, temperature check. Them give you a piece of paper. And we're in the line, same way. Um, The line keep on moving little by little by little by little. After sometimes, sometimes it now move not at all. So I'm like, what is this? Like, we should be keeping the social distancing, right? Anyways, when I line and <laughs> another line for a boat out. Oh, I like it's like we stand up at one part for like thirty minutes, then the line we move and then we each up at the part for another thirty minutes. So I'm like, when am I going to get to come out here? And I was overweight, so I have a bag in my hand and a little piece of bag all up pop up. So like, I have the bag and I hold on for it. Like that's why you guys gonna get no vlog like i wanted to vlog my whole experience but it couldn't work out because i was overloading jfk and the overweight fee was 150 dollars plus the suitcase fee so the suitcase is 35 dollars plus the 150 so i was not about to pay that and the lady at the decks was so good with me like she helped me take out one some things out of one put them in my carry on I feel like kneel down on the suitcase them for clothes them. It was crazy. Um so I so I ended up just paying for two suitcases which cost eighty dollars. So I had a bag, so she's like, Oh, do you have a a shopping bag or something? I had a bag and it was plastic and I had to put some stuff in there, so I guess the weight and I was holding the the handle of the bag and it, it starts to jolt. Anyways, I'm gonna go through and back to Jamaica now. So in in a in a mobi, you know, I don't know if you guys know the size of the airport, but it was like three flights, three flights coming at the same time. So in my head, I'm like, okay, they're gonna, <clears throat> sorry, they're gonna let um who come off a of JetBlue two years so. And I saw a Delta flight. Who come off a Delta might go somewhere else. And who come off of the other plane, which I don't remember, would go the other direction. <sighs> come to reality, people. The whole way book up in a one line. The whole way book up in a one line. So I'm like, how are we going to keep the social distancing? And which part we're not so big. Anyways, everybody joined the one line. And then after the line start move or whatever, I realized that them start break up the line. So I don't know what they were doing the breaking up for because we'll go around the corner, we still book up on them same people. Eh? So who we'll get to go first and smoothly through the process were people in wheelchairs 
and kids like people traveling with babies small um toddlers and so forth them get to go go through so i was there for a good while until i reached the decks where they do the assessment like they ask you for your authorization form to come in the country them ask you where you're gonna stay them all them look look at something there they gave me the paper that i should put my temperature in um um, I let the lady know, listen, I filled out the business form. I did my COVID test and everything. Um, I'm not here to break the rules, but I'm here on business, yada, yada, yada. So I will still stay at home when I don't have anything to do, but I'll not be, I will not be going in like public places with a lot of people. Listen, like COVID the year. So me not plan to stay and mix and mingle with nobody. Just like in the beginning, Jamaicans were like distancing themselves from foreigners. So I'm here to distance myself from everybody. So it's not like me go come come wrap up with everybody. Like you guys were Susie BJ, like he went to the office. So I'm I'm home. Anyways. Um Yeah, me tell her, you know, I'm here for business and I have a business place and yada yada yada. And she gave me the paper to fill out and so forth, so and whatever. But like them, them have this thing with them protocol, but I feel like they want to, they need to be quicker, and them need a little more knowledge about what them do, because in a myself, me say yo, alright, three flight come. If everybody ever come to yes, so at the same time, it's gonna be congestive, right? So. To my knowledge, I think they should have let what, like a plane at a time. So, for instance, me come down from JetBlue. All of you will come down from JetBlue should go, go through, and at least reach customs. And then they make the other set come in. But why are you going to have three flights from different parts? Because me know say everybody now come from New York. Come see people in a rain boat, bubble jacket, big thick jacket, and all them something there. So they might come from somewhere cold colder than New York as fall just start going to New York and people just wear regular hoodie and um light jackets and stuff like that. So I mean no saying in New York them I come from or America whatever I don't know where they're coming from. Um yeah so may I say why not do a plane at a time, you know? So we in that the line there for almost two hours. When them do the assessment, give me paper whatever I'm gonna go upstairs to where I do to get my baggage claim. So I go to the baggage claim, get my, 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 my suitcase them. Um, I had to go into the declare line because I I have shipments that I have to pick up from the wharf. So I had to join that line. And it wasn't a line because when I went there, the lady was, um, the custom officer was dealing with somebody. And yeah. Well, and then backtrack. I go immigration, right? So when I come down to immigration, there was nobody. Like, you just walk through and the girl and just tell you which decks to go to because they were available. So I was sent to available decks and the lady deal with me and all of that. And she take me in my emergency contact and all them. Some of them do them work. And I went to the baggage claim. So for the baggage claim, now I take my suitcase. As I said, I had to go to the declare line because I have, people, I have um, things that are shipped. So I have to go to the wall for those. Um, customs in Jamaica. Customs in Jamaica are the worst. Okay? Like, I always have problem with them. That's why I'm gonna like, God, Jamaica with bag and pan. And just because I have to go to the wharf, why well, I may have to go in at that line there. But normally, I just go to the green line. I have nothing to declare. I'm a gamble my business. But anytime if I go over the red line, like, custom officers why wanna stay so why jesus not the woman asked one one all of a question i said means like these are my personal stuff like when i opened my suitcase like i had a big suitcase and i had a carry-on i just had two pieces so she told me to put up the two of them on the the counter put up the two of them on the counter guys i had like the top of my pad, I top of my pad, the top of the suitcase, I mask it off with pad, and I have my brazier and panty them, and them, you know that zip there in the suitcase, it did it, it, it open, because I couldn't keep it closed because it was stuffed, so, because as I said, I was overweight from, you know, so, 
it open so I'm open it now like I'm going to the major port my brother major port and the part the major port for the suitcase and all of this something and I'm like miss like I'm a woman and you're a woman like you see this now it make me look up my things now like all of these are my stuff these are personal stuff like all of my business does are that show at the airport like I didn't like that and she going at the, the, the carry on and the same thing I had pad everywhere so like she see me with my backpack on my back now she's like oh why not that let me see it. so i'm like miss my laptop in there my camera them in there a lot of camera accessories is in there and if you open this are you walk off picky pack it up back like legit i said to her if you open this and let me take the stuff out you have to pack it back because me don't want this to stand up for like two hours and 15 minutes or whatever and me hectic, me hectic, me exhausted, me hungry because I'm just getting one look of water and one look of chips and whatever on the plate. I didn't even eat it, anyways. Hold on, they may go feed and show the guys because I did not eat it because I'm like, what is this? Like, this dog will make my guess even worse. Say, so, yeah, guys, so I flew with JetBlue, big up JetBlue though. They did not sell any middle seats, so you know, some people have a whole row for themselves. It was me and an elderly man but we had a lot of space because there was nobody in the middle and it was a good flight man i tell her like when we used to reach jamaica i was like wow that was quick so in a ziploc bag they give you a bottle of water see me not if you don't drink the water like look at the amount that i drank like yeah and i'm not a big drink of water anyways they gave this it's sealed. I don't even look on it. You know, them have them look a napkin, whatever. And they gave this some kind of bar, cinnamon and oats bar, right? Well, deep down, I think I am allergic to cinnamon. So, I don't really did I go mess with this. But I'm like, I did hungry. I did really hungry because normally on the plane I would like um, buy food from them with them menu thing because you know them not really serve food for free so yeah I would have purchased something to eat and then the terminal JetBlue terminal in JFK like there was no McDonald's there was no Burger King there was nothing like that there was like maybe Starbucks but only thing I drink from only thing I always buy from Starbucks is uh um caramel macchiato ice caramel macchiato and i'm like i didn't want to drink anything because i hate to pee on the plane and i always just like to filter out my, my bladder before i go on a flight so i wasn't gonna do a lot of liquids that's why i even i didn't even really um drink so much of the water because i know i'm going to want to go to the bathroom so anyways i me still come in jet blue though the the plane it was clean like when you just go up on the plane it smell like this nice freshness and they have I me mean, no it's come like some scented thing come down the plane every now and again i don't know if a people are use them and sanitizer or something on the plane but in there they're just fresh and then um i had my wipes and stuff so i wiped the tv screen off and the, the tray area which i just used that like to fill out the immigration farm because you know them now still serve no food um it was comfy even though they cut out the blanket thing so i was like cold at one point but i made it and um i had the window seat because i'm supposed to know me only fly a window seat I, I only like the window seat on a plane so yeah guys so i am semi-quarantined i want to know some do my covid test i want to know some i have no covid and um i'm not here to gallivant and whatever but i'm not here to stay inside like you know we all have life to live you know i have a mask i have my face shield i have a bag full of hand sanitizer wipes aqua spray all them something there uh i won't be going in any public transportation i make sure i follow the business farm and i make sure i did my covid test and if I was going to come here with um, time to really quarantine and stuff and I would not have a problem but I make sure I follow out the business form and I make sure I explain to them you know yo 
me don't want me and bro get in no trouble <laughs> and we won't be in any because me only I go up on the road when I need to so until October 18 when I can go up and I'm still not going to go up and down because this is a COVID like COVID is here COVID there Jamaica so why I'm going to act like it's not here and you know but you guys I'm here in Jamaica and I am safe and I slept like a baby and I woke up 5 o'clock this morning because I thought it was like maybe 10 because I am still in this New York time you know foreign time move fast so when I woke up this morning, I'm like, shit, baby, and I go, you know, I got the office, and he's like, what time? When I look at the time, I'm like, okay, I'm sorry for wake you up. It's five. So you guys, right now, I'm just waiting to go on the road. I wanted to just do a little food shopping, cause you know, I be jail on the day, so you know, he has minimal amount of stuff stuff for only him so yeah and as i said i will be doing my social distancing and i'll always have my mask on and have my necessary things and um yeah so let's see how this goes you know trip in jamaica it's not a vacation trip you know i'm here to deal with business and I'm not there for Gallivant and stuff, which I'm not saying. I'm not gonna, you know, might go maybe have lunch, dinner, whatever. But I'm not gonna overdo it. Like, I'm human. I can't not be here. I'm not have no COVID. Like, if I had uh, if I had it, I wouldn't come here and I would not be allowed to be here. So, okay. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm waiting for BJ to come with the car and uh, go get some food stuff so you guys mm -hmm. on my way here on my way home yesterday we stopped in a place i think it's a runaway bay or something um it named outer road crabby jesus i had the nicest shrimp soup ever nicest 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 and uh, definitely when i get to go back there i'm going to vlog it and bring you guys and stuff um yeah i watched i watched um this girl on youtube um she's a subscriber of my channel also and i subscribed to her channel um danny she went there with her mom and they bought crab and stuff like that and i'm like i never see this place on the road yet maybe because i was maybe a speed pass or whatever but yesterday i wanted something warm before me even eat anything because guess that i killed me and i'm like i needed some soup and um i think bj saw the crab sign because we almost drove past so him, him always at a bow crab because anytime we touch down panchula and he stretched down them way there you know him always want crab um so he saw the sign and we stopped and we asked him what kind of soup they have them have all kind of different variety of soups and i said okay i want to try the shrimp god no i said the guest did half a bus so anyways guys i'll definitely bring one there because i'm definitely going there for some crab and some mussels and them something there yeah yeah so i'm in ja and i am happy i feel alive jamaica have something about it where it just fit with me and i love being here i love being home so yeah see you guys in the next clip and anybody who decides to travel to GA right now, um, I went through Montego Bay and I think it could have been better. I think they could have done a little bit better. Because a lot of times when I hear the Jamaicans saying that, you know, people definitely can catch COVID through the airport. I always laugh and I say how. But I've seen it yesterday. Literally, like the soldiers, the nurses, they were going around giving you hand sanitizers every, even so on, every arm, so on. But um, they have to keep reminding people to keep the mask on properly, cover your nose, your mouth, whatever. Who have on face shield, you know them way there. But it was hard. I'm not telling a lie. The whole plane ride, we have to have the mask on the entire plane ride, and then um. 
to stand up in the line for so much hours like breathing in what you should not be because what whatever we exhale we should not be inhaling it and it was to me me feel like my, my lungs then will go collapse like at one point me, uh, me feel like me go drop down but me know say people are gonna say covid mouth <laughs> come with hungry point up it i'm like wow when me will get to come out here so yeah guys that was just my little recap of how it was coming here and yeah so see you guys in the next clip who is that we're oh, going people oh, mask. we can't hear nothing what you are saying look how when me talk with the mask then can't hear we're oh, going people never put, put on my mask yeah she doesn't come from <laughs> she should have quarantine she didn't even dance on here to her who are you sleep last night who want you to wrap up and sleep last night? Uh, what? Up, uh, what? Up. What? Uh, and kiss up. And kiss up. So if me have you, do your bone for your feet. <laughs> Bo. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, people, him finally show him face. He was yeah. at work. I look tired, don't people? Some bone me out now. That's the second time people are seeing a black shirt. They don't have another uniform. This black shirt is in when you go put up your sign? Oh, logo. This is the new one? Yeah. Never even realized. I knew logo, man. We love chat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys. I'm in Jamaica, as I said before. Yeah. You happy, I know. Of course. I'm not happy some day, yeah, people. I'm going back to New York. Yo, I'm happy. I'm yeah, happy. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, Apple. Yeah, Apple. <laughs> Food. Yeah, Apple says she's there. Food. Food, but Apple. I play ever after a fairy tale. A fairy tale. Almost fairy tale. Yeah, guys, so yeah. Vlog going to be later now. I'm doing it. Monday, my birthday. You have to tell everybody that? Yeah. So, put me name on them now. So, put me name on them until happy birthday. Yeah. Yes, guys, Monday BJ is gonna be 20 something years old. <laughs> but I don't know if you want me to tell you. I mean, I'll <laughs> yeah. be 29. I'm last year in the 20s, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Then next year is dirty 30. <laughs> dirty 30. Uh, anyways, guys, this is just a small vlog to let you know, guys know I'm in Jamaica and I'm safe and I'm with the mister. So, yeah. So this uh, in boring us here. Yeah, yeah you tired? <laughs> you got the farm today? Come must farm you work. You tired? Tired one. People to go the place at. This is when I want the bunny out. And to back and forth on the road. Why? On the road all day so kinda feel tiredish. 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 Alright guys, so stay tuned for these vlogs. Cause they're gonna be lit. Don't tell me see how I watch people back down. Don't matter with him, big old toilet running nose. You know what I mean? You have no mask. You know, no mask. You know, you have no mask. You have no mask. You have no mask. You have no mask. Big old toilet. Alright, guys. We'll see y'all in the next upload. Yeah, guys. Stay and we have, tuned. We have many, many vlogs, many to, vlogs come. to come and surprises in store. Yeah. 